Trump, Elon Musk, going to Mars. Corrupted government or just bad business? Today, we're going to be explaining that in this short video. And guys, stay tuned. I want to hop right into this. It's electric. Everyone hates Tesla. Let's get active. Trump's going to be right here on this first take, and he's going to be talking about Elon Musk. Let's get it. The world in space. Remember, I did Space Force. I did that. I rebuilt the military. I did a lot. But we have Space Force, first time in 79 years since Air Force. First time, think of it, Space Force. And now we're leading in space over Russia and China. They were killing us when I took over, and now we're leading. But military, we're going to reach, and, and it's my plan. I'll talk to Elon. Elon, get those rocket ships going because... Because Elon's the man. He's the man with the master plan. He's the guy with the sauce. Yes, we were lagging behind Russia. We were lagging behind China. Elon went to Russia to buy IBCMs from Russia. They spit on his shoes and told him that it was weapons for war and they were not some plaything for some Silicon Valley punk. And then years later, he's the number one rocket company in the world leading innovation in aerospace. Shout out to that Russian general. I wonder what he's doing now. Who's her? Because we want to reach Mars before the end of my term. We want to do it. And we want. This is epic. Will SpaceX be successful? Time will tell. I'm certainly going to try. But to have the future president of the United States, barring any late mail arriving, I mean, during the counting process, publicly declare intent for next. We're going to Mars. Then, and yet that's a big thing. So shout out to Trump for making it happen if he gets elected. Let's go to the next clip very recent clip. It's kind of funny that Trump is now speaking positively about Elon Musk and all his companies at a ratio of about 100 to 1 versus the number of interviews Kamala Harris has been doing while simultaneously trying to be elected as the next president. It's kind of crazy. We were getting lapped in space by China and by Russia. And now we'll, we are the leader in space. And I have to tell you, Elon is doing a fantastic job. He's my friend. He endorsed me for president. Now, pause right there, Trump. Yeah, we, we, we care. You, you're trying to ride his coattails. No disrespect. But again, guys, this is good. A good administration that actually supports an individual. Now, Elon has been able to do what he's been able to do so far, thus with a pretty hostile or let's just say a neutral administration like Biden and Harris. So I'm not for one or the other. I don't care. We're going to do what we have to do. We're going to do engineer. We're going to do good science and stay away from BS, which is bad science. But watch this next clip, because you could really understand what I'm saying when I talk about this. We have to protect our geniuses, and we have to protect our entrepreneurs and our titans, like Elon Musk and etc. I just briefly wanted to remind you guys what this fuckstick who, look, honestly, he doesn't know what he's saying. He didn't know what he was saying. He was, he's just... Well, solving a money problem is kind of reckless, but shout out to him. Solving a money problem, go check his channel out. But he's going to be showing this clip and also another clip that we're going to get into about government corruption or just the way business is done. But let's get back to the video. With to censor US and global citizens. By the way, what laptop would, unfortunately... Be a little bit of a spinner in the works because if people can freely share their thoughts opinion okay they're talking about free speech you know these guys love the free speech conversation and want to go back and forth about it me i love science conversation and engineering conversation so and i'm gonna say what i gotta say regardless of what anybody think they could do to me but let's get cracking let's get biden in here so he could say what he's got to say come on solvin say following musk's acquisition of twitter now x and then they'll see if any actions subsequent to these comments align with what was said. think that Elon Musk's cooperation and or technical relationships with other countries uh, is worthy of being looked at. Whether or not he is doing anything inappropriate I'm not suggesting that. I'm suggesting that it's worth, worth being looked at. Um, and, uh, um, and, uh, but Man, you, you can't even get out the rest of the part, but worth being looked at, right? Huh, that's very interesting. Worth being looked at. Now, is Elon the only one who does business with China, right? Maybe that's the case. Maybe he's the only one in the entire United States that does business. Oh, wait, who's that on the screen? Uh, is that Tim Cook? Tim Cook. Are you out here with the Chinese? Huh? 
with the minister out here smiling and cheesing, you know, tap dancing, the Ministry of Commerce. That's Tim Cook right there, right? Does he need to be looked at? Look at him. He's taking selfies out here. He's shaking hands, kissing babies. He needs to be looked at because his dealings, his technical dealings with China is suspect. It's ridiculous, right? That's a ridiculous statement, but that comes from ridiculous people. So don't take it personal. There's a lot of ridiculous people. Now we're going to move into the next conversation. Guys, look, I've worked with the government for a long time, as you may or may not know, not only in the military, but when I got out of the military, I was a private contractor. I know about contracting and I know how the government does business. And a lot of times we get things twisted, right? We say that the government is ineffective and inefficient. But what we lack understanding is the actual people who are getting the contracts, meaning the government bids and sends out a contract for individual tasks that need to be completed. The government don't have construction workers, okay, guys? So if they need to build a road, they don't just hire Bill who works at the government and he comes build the road. They put a bid out and then different type of private industries put in a bid for it and whoever wins, whatever private industry wins, they get the bid and they build the road. Now they could build out the road and it could suck. They could build out the road and it could be great. It's all up to the private companies, okay? And the same thing is happening. When we have a lot of money that goes into infrastructure bills, there are companies who win the awards and don't complete the task. Those are private entities and companies, right? The government is not out here building charging networks. It's a private company that does it. And that private company can fumble the rock. And so what we're missing is that the selection process for those companies could be failing, could not be effective and efficient. And then also on top of that, you voted for the normies. <laughs> you vote for your president, you vote for your mayor, you vote for your senator. So it's also a portion of you having to deal with it. And when we deal with aerospace and we're talking about SpaceX, right? That's a private company that got a contract from the government and they selected SpaceX. And when they made that decision, they selected a good company. And that good company has been able to do great. But when they selected a company called Boeing, no disrespect, Boeing, but you got astronauts slaughtered. You, hey, look, salute to you and thank for your service. You did a lot for the country. But now you're just fumbling the rock. You have to move out the way for a bit, okay? Now, they're going to get into the conversation. I'm going to allow them to start talking and me get off the pulpit. All right, let's get it. She's our, she's paradoxically, this is our next story. Horrible. So Horrible. <laughs> let's go for it. In related news of our government burning our money, rural broadband, rural broadband and EV charging, 42 billion and 7.5 billion, almost $50 billion combined. Let's just go over these two programs real quickly here. Both were part of the $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill in 2021, 42 billion carved out to provide high-speed internet to people living on farms in rural locations, 7.5 billion carved out to build 500,000 EV chargers over 10 years. It's been a thousand days since the bill was passed, so let's check on the progress. Zero people have been connected according to FCC Commissioner Brendan Carr. FCC Commissioner. Okay, not a normie, not a rando, somebody who's important. Let's continue. Zero. Zero people have been connected to the internet, not one home, not one business, none, nada. 1,037 days. And eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight EV chargers have been built as of May, according to Auto Week magazine. What's even crazier... So that's pretty crazy, right? $7.5 billion in government cash only built eight EV chargers in 2.5 years. And that's a misleading title. It's the private sector that did it. The government didn't build out the EV chargers. And while the private sector builds hundreds of public chargers, the government spends billions of dollars for just a handful of charging stations. Again, the government sent the money to private companies, and those private companies fumbled the rock, okay? And versus the private sector, which is just Elon Musk, he just invested in his business and capital expenditure and has executed on the plan very well, right? If they would have selected Tesla to build out the charging stations, then it would have been different, but they didn't. Private industry already solved these problems. United Airlines just announced they're putting Starlink on a thousand of their planes and they're going to offer it for free. And Starlink now has 2,500 planes under contract with a bunch of other airlines. And uh, in the second half of 2023 alone, the private sector built over a thousand charging stations in the US. These are two problems that have already been solved.
that have already been solved by private sector. But again, the problem is not private sector. If that be the case, then actually, you know, SpaceX, majority of its budget comes from NASA. It's a government contract. All right. So government contracts are how things get funded. The government funds it, but it's up to the private company. And so people are kind of like, you know, not understanding like, oh, man, the government, when they do something, they mess up. I'm like, no, they gave SpaceX money and it went well. So it's just about selecting the good companies. So again, some private sector companies are terrible and they're fumbling the rock and the government selected them. We understand that. But at the end of the day, you guys don't understand the part that comes into play. It is the private sector. The government didn't fumble the rock because they don't have any charger network stations. They don't have no vendors, suppliers. So it's all private sector. So we really have to look at the private companies that are fumbling the rock and those guys need to be banned for sure, for sure. More than a thousand new EV stations have come online in the U.S. since summer, a summer, excuse me. And then fast charging infrastructure for electric cars grew by 16 percent in a half of a year in 20, uh, 2023. That's before federal spending even kicks in. So whatever companies that executed that, those companies need to be highlighted and targeted. And the government needs to select those individuals. But it's also up to normies to actually make the correlation and then demand those companies that get selected. OK, so you guys have an actual horse in the race. But when you sit back and just think, well, oh, leave it to the private sector, which is interesting and they could do, but the government still has other things that it bids and allows the private sector to do. It is not the government that's technically or necessarily building these things out. It's the private sector. And those individuals that they select have been terrible at it, just like they have selected Boeing and General Dynamics for a long time. And they have been terrible in aerospace and in progression. They've just been sucking up the cash. And so SpaceX came in and innovated and changed the game. But SpaceX, the government selected them. And that was a good choice. And the contracts they gave to SpaceX was a good choice. And even with Boeing and General Dynamics uh, disputing the award that was given to SpaceX, the government doubled down and still gave it to SpaceX. So that's when they make good decisions. So basically, the government has to give the contracts to the private sector specifically the companies that are executing on those game plans. And once they do that, with the people demanding such things, because they're observant and keeping track of it, you having babies and having them go to work is not an excuse for you not to take responsibility of your community and your nation. Ask what your country cannot do for you, but what you could do for your country and pay the attention. Shout out to everyone at Everyone Hates Tesla. It's electric. I see you guys at the next one. Like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get this hot ether. Remember, if it's dealing with Tesla, it's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie.